Hello, everyone. Here we are once again, 1.30 every Tuesday Pacific Standard Time. My name is Mark Stark, uh, and I have a uh, special message uh, to share with you today. You know, we uh, are nearing the time of year where we start thinking about New Year's resolutions. You know, what are we going to want to change in the new year? What are we going to want to do differently? What what are we going to want to focus on a, from a specific goals, change our personality? All these things are going on in our minds. Well, today I'm here to tell you, and probably not going to surprise you in any way, shape, or form, that New Year's resolutions simply do not work. Now, if they've ever worked for you, great. You know, I never argue with results. Continue to do them. Whatever you're doing, stay with it. But if it's not working for you, and I have to tell you, most of the time I hear that they absolutely do not work. And uh, so I did a little bit of research and, you know, there was a ton of reasons why New Year's resolutions don't work. But I, I did love this one comment that was stated. They said, uh, resolutions are unattainable because they give your brain too many incentives to quit before you even get started. And you want, you want to know something? That made a ton of sense to me. Well, today we're going to talk about an alternative to New Year's resolutions, something that is very effective that I've used personally, and I really want to recommend for all my viewers to check it out. And the book we're going to talk about today is called One Word. If you've read it or you've listened to it, beautiful thing. I have to tell you, I would recommend listening to it or reading it again. And it's amazing how you, you always pick up something new when you reread or re-listen to one of the books that you own. The authors are John Gordon, Dan Britton, and Jimmy Page. Probably not the Jimmy Page you're thinking of, but Jimmy Page. Uh, and you know what I love about this? You know, when I think about one of the aspects that makes anything we work on successful is ask the question, is it simple? Is it simple to do? You know, I think back in creating the four-step business plan. And one of the strengths of our four-step business plan is that it's simple. You know, I've stated this before is I'm not a big believer in a formal uh, business plan. And the main reason for that is, is not because it's anything bad of putting all your ideas and your thoughts and numbers written down. I think that's a beautiful process. But when we put it in a business plan, it tends not to be a living, breathing document. And I have found that if anything's going to work, it needs to be living and breathing, working with you day in and day out, not being in a drawer that you check out annually, even monthly. It needs to be something that you're on top of on a day-to-day -day basis. And so this book really was attractive to me because they take this concept of resolutions and they come up with something that, you know what, is just so simple and so effective. Now, um, I have to tell you, my, my one aspect of what I found that this book, One Word, did for me or what I believe of why it's so successful is they have the ability to help a person inspire themselves to action. Toughest thing for all of us is, you know what, many times we know what we should do, but why aren't we doing it? So this book really helps you determine ways to inspire yourself to action and focus on actually achieving and achieving what you want. All right, I wanted to give you just a, a few of the words in the past uh, that I have had. Uh, one of my words was balance, another one was patience, and another one was open. So the other aspect about this book is it's all about you as an individual. It's not about following anyone else's path. It's about your path. And it's really about digging deep about you and finding out what's your one word. Now, I'm not going to do this book justice today. There's no way. So I am really advising everybody. Here's my goal today. I want you to take the time and the investment, the dollars, 
to go either buy the hard copy or buy it on Audible and listen to it. But give yourself the opportunity. It's a quick read. It's a quick listen. I think the total is just a little bit over an hour if you were going to listen to it on Audible. Uh, and certainly it's a quick read. But it'll give you all right an opportunity to really understand the essence of what makes this all work. And I will tell you, within the book, they give you everything you'll need step by step. And yes, very, very simple to understand and simple to accomplish. Look, you know, each year that goes by, and they go by quicker and quicker. I mean, my belief is this. There used to be 12 months in between years. Now it seems like there are only six months in between years. So, you know, the old saying, as you get older, time seems to fly by quicker. Well, you know what? I'm not going to argue with that because I believe that. And as time and time goes, you know, we want to make sure that we're achieving what we want to achieve, really what we want to achieve. And I am recommending today that you pick up this book because I promise you, I believe, if you find, and you will, all right, it's an easy process. If you just listen or read the book, you will find your one word. And that one word is all about you and helping you achieve uh, what you want. It will help you prepare, discover, and live your word. So with that said, uh, go out. Pick up this book. Uh, of course, if you find all that I'm sharing today, uh, please like, share, and follow as always. And I really appreciate everyone's time. Go pick it up. You will not be disappointed. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.